to You Deserve a Drink. I'm Mamrie Hart, and who do I think most deserves a drink this week? Well, it's everyone's favorite throwback with a lot of Zach and a whole lot of laugh track. It's Saved by the Bell, everybody! If you haven't seen, recently, most of the cast of Saved by the Bell got together and had dinner, and oh my god, the feelings just flooded back. My heart was racing faster than Jesse Spanos before Mr. Dewey's pop quiz, okay? I fucking love that show, and in the height of 90s nostalgia, I thought, that show deserves a drink. So in honor of this iconic 90s show from my childhood, we are going to make a Saved by the Bell, Saved by the Bell pepper martini. However, you know I can never leave my bae's side, so let's kick it over to Bayside, side, where me and Grace are at the max. When I wake up in the morning need is agave, or as I call it, hipster honey, the juice of a lime, spicy chili vodka, any brand, or you could use tequila, or you could use gin, really, it doesn't matter, and fresh squeezed bell pepper juice. Now look, you can just cut up bell pepper and muddle the fuck out of it, but I got drunk and Amazoned a juicer a couple years ago, and I'm gonna get my money's worth. Hey, great. What do you call it when you hook up with a nerd, but you're too embarrassed to actually face them face to face? I don't know what. Getting a screech around. <laughs> so, to a shaker full of ice, I am going to add, per drink, the juice of a half a lime. Oh, that one's juicy, baby. That one's juicier than Kelly's butt in Bayside Tiger cheerleader uniform, right? Just kidding. She kind of had a flat ass. Sorry, Thesons. Okay, I'll meet you at the max. You know, Lisa was pretty, but I don't think I could ever date a turtle. <laughs> Mitch McConnell's wife. Oh. Then I'm gonna put in about an ounce of the bell pepper juice. Teaspoon of agave. Hey, Lisa, did you hear that Justin Diamond, the actor who played Screech, actually went to jail for stabbing a man in a Wisconsin bar? Yeah, he was sentenced to four months but only served three. He says it was a parole of a knife time. <laughs> and a big old glug of spicy vodka. I want you to pour this vodka like you're making a cocktail for Johnny Dakota. Y'all remember that motherfucker? He tried to get the gang to smoke weed. What was he thinking? Thinking he was at the wrong party and needed to come to Star Mountain High School in Louisville, North Carolina. Okay. Fun fact, when Mark Paul Gossler found out he got the role of Zach Morris, he nearly died. His hair every two weeks. The man is a brunette. Lots of more fun. Hey, pipe down, preppy. Slater's gonna slate. <laughs> Shake it up. And then, for fun, I had this yellow pepper. I thought, why don't I try to cut a little bell shape out of it? And that can be the garnish for this. You know what, no, we're gonna scratch this idea. What it looks like is shit. So I'll just make a little wedge garnish to put on the side. You know what, we'll say that it's Zach Morris's bangs. How about that? Say Grace, what would you say is one of your favorite episodes of Saved by the Bell? Oh, I love when Richard Belding's brother Rod came in and played the cool substitute. Hold on, you're telling me that there was a dick and a Rod on the staff? Uh, yeah, you could say that he was a member of the faculty. <laughs> Ah, uh, thanks for Haskell. That's his last name, Mr. Belden. Oh, wow. Dennis Haskell. Wow. Yeah. Didn't go on to do much. I saw him at the streamies like years ago. I've seen him as a karaoke DJ. I got this special kind of iridescent 90s goblet for this. We garnish it with Zach's bangs and pour it out. Oh my god, it already smells like a goddamn garden. Before I get saved by the smells, let's try our saved by the bell pepper martini. Cheers! Guys, I know you probably think that I think all the drinks are great on here, but I would pay $14 for one of these. And I'm cheap as fuck! Do you guys remember all the bullies on Saved by the Bell? Mm-hmm. There was one in particular, Ox, who really reminded me of someone. If he was on the show, he'd be chanting, Lock her up! Lock, lock her, her up. up! Lock her up! <laughs> you know, Mamrie? Yeah? My favorite bully was Moose. You know, he and I oh. actually used to date. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I heard he's a deer. He loved my moose knuckle. That's a hmm. stew. It tastes like I just walked through a summer garden and then I saw a really hot farmer and he laid me down and made love to me. But like no dirt got anywhere weird. I'll talk to you later, Zach. You know, Mamrie, as a tall woman, I've always identified with Jesse Spano. Except for that I'm so excited episode. Who knew that caffeine pills could be such a downer? Oh, I love that episode. But that's because some people call me a hot Sunday. Yep, because I love to give the scoop and I fudge it a little bit. <laughs> and you're always covered in wet nuts. You know it. Love it. <laughs> Deserve a drink again. I'm Mamrie Hart, and rem- my mouth is watering. Thank you for watching. You deserve a drink again. I'm Mamrie Hart, and remember, the best part about Why Dad is the built-in drinking game. So make your delicious Save by the Bell pepper martini. Rewatch this and drink every time Grace and I make a terrible Save by the Bell pun. Now I'm off to keep thinking about that farmer analogy. I got a Facetime chip. He says it was a parole of a knife time. That's not a lifetime movie next year. McConnell's wife, he's evil. The whole point of this video. It's framing men. (laughs) Sorry, I just looked down here and it was just a limp dick drawn (laughs) off.